You can set up Backtap on iPhone to take a screenshot or do other tasks such as open Spotify when you backtap your phone in iOS 14, like this. You can also assign a shortcut to the hidden triple backtap feature. The backtap feature is a new hidden trick for iOS update 14 and works with or without a phone case. This feature works for iPhone 8, iPhone X, iPhone 11 and 12 across all the X, XS, XR, Pro and Pro Max range. First of all, the default way to take a screenshot is to press the volume up and power button simultaneously. And if you're like me, sometimes it can be hard to coordinate the correct timing. So you may miss that moment when you're say watching a YouTube video and you wanna grab a quick screenshot. Not to mention the fact that you've got to quickly adjust your grip maybe to do so. It's awkward. So you'll probably end up having to rewind 10 seconds to the same spot again. I know, I know, you probably only lose 10 seconds of your day, but every second counts, huh? So how much easier would it be if you could simply double tap the back of your iPhone to take that screenshot? Let's see how to set up Apple iOS 14's back tap hidden feature trick. To set up this secret shortcut, first go to settings, scroll down to accessibility, then select touch, scroll down, and here you can choose the back tap feature. You're now presented with an option for double back tap and triple back tap. You can see there's a range of default options here including app switcher, control center, home, lock screen, mute, notification center, reachability, screenshot, shake, Siri, spotlight, volume up and volume down. So just select screenshot here, head back home and then just double tap your iPhone like this. And now you're taking a screenshot as simple as that, even if you do have a phone case on. While we're here, again with the triple tap feature, you can see there is the same range of options you have to choose from. And if you use the shake feature to undo, you'll know that it is quite awkward to do also. So that might be a good candidate for the triple back tap feature. So here I am now demonstrating the triple back tap feature to bring back the text that I wanted to have up before. And it's less dorky looking than shaking the phone, which sometimes doesn't actually even work. In a moment, I'll show you how I set custom commands for shortcuts, including to open Spotify. But first, if you're enjoying this content, then please hit the like button below, or even better, back tap that subscribe button and notification bell for more videos just like this. And actually in the description below, I have linked a few iPhone specific tutorial videos that you might find helpful, such as what are the green and orange dots on iPhone? A comparison of all the camera specs across the iPhone 12 range. Plus, if you're interested in seeing which teleprompter app I often use that I recommend, watch this video right here. So, back to back tap shortcuts, and excuse the pun there. As you've noticed, I have triple tap set to open Spotify, which is a handy shortcut when you're on the run and can't be bothered summoning Siri. However, this isn't a standard option under shortcuts, so you'll have to set that up via a different process, which I show you exactly how to do in this video right here. You can set Backtap to do almost any task you can think of, such as to like and subscribe to this channel or add me to your social medias below. So use your imagination here. Here's a disclaimer. If you're someone like me that often drums on their phone randomly and subconsciously when you're doing something on your phone, you'll surprise yourself just how often you actually drum on the back of your phone when all of a sudden, all of your shortcuts start activating unintentionally. It takes a while to get out of this habit, I can tell you. Watch this video next to see the world's fastest iPhone 12 Pro Max unboxing in under one minute. No shortcuts taken here, yet all of the fluff is taken away. Back tap that now and I'll see you there.